The market pushes higher Friday into resistance. Can it break through? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in last week's video, we talked about the fact that the market had a few different options. One of them was pulling back and pushing up into that 4200 resistance area, and that's exactly what we saw. The market pu pushed up towards 4200 and closed there on for the week. And now the question is, can the bulls break through? I'll get into that in just one second. But first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, so we are at resistance. If the bulls can push through that, we should see a pretty good squeeze. So let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart for the S&P 500. And as you can see on Friday, we got a continuation of that move up into this resistance area. And we do have a lot of resistance here. You have this wave 5 of 3 here. You have this overall wave 5 here. And so if you scroll, uh, zoom out even a little bit more, there's another tag of this area that could not break through. And so what this looks like so far is that we have a wave three of three, a wave four of three uh, down, and we're starting wave five of three up with this being wave one of that five of three. So what we would expect here, okay, is a pullback that holds the 50% to 618 retrace, which is the 4127 to 4112 area. They can go as low as 41 or 4094, but if they break through that, we would expect them to have a continuation pattern that breaks this low. We would also look for this to be an ABC move or a corrective move to the downside in that kind of fashion where we get a move down into those areas and then start our next move higher from there. So that would be the primary expectation just based on the overall structure and what we're looking at, that this move down would be a wave two of wave five of three, and then we would start the breakout to the upside. Now, if they are directly going to gap up or or push through this resistance area and take out this high over here at about 4207. Okay, that also lines up with the 764 fib. And if they push through that directly, we would expect a pretty direct move up to the 4250 area before seeing a pullback and then a push up toward the 4290 area after that to complete all of wave three. And then we look for another pullback and then one more push higher over 4300 to complete the C wave up we've been talking about. So a direct move over 4207 should start a squeeze, and that should push us up to about the 4250 area, one pullback, and then up to the 4290 area, which would end all of wave three. Then we'd look for a four or five up to about 4325 after that. So that's what we're looking for on the ES. The caveat would be if they cannot hold this 4094 level, we would look for a breakdown towards that 3950 level. Over on the NASDAQ, okay, the NASDAQ also gave us a little bit of a pullback and a pushback up into that resistance. It would look to complete a wave one higher. Then we would look for a pullback here also to hold that 5.5 uh, to 0.618 resistance of the retrace, which would be the... 13072 area down to the 13006 area and if they break through 12925 that is a sign to the bears or to the bulls that the bears may be trying to take control of the market but what we would look for in a standard move here is a pullback into that area and then a breakthrough higher up toward the 13730 area now again if they can push directly higher through the 13481 area without pulling back then we would already be in wave three and squeezing higher up toward that 13,730 area directly and then look for a pullback from there. So pretty similar counts on the move up as they are both fairly bullish and impulsive. So we do look for a pullback that holds support and then a breakout move higher. The 12,925 area is the caveat on the NASDAQ. If they break through that, that is a warning to the bulls that the bears are trying to take back control and pushing lower toward the 12,500 level. Guys, if you love the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link, and it will take you right over to the webpage. Once you're there, check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible plans, and they both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you to get in there, make sure you love it, and become part of the trading team before you ever spend a penny. You can cancel at any time. We just started our training program, and it's Elliott Way for Beginners is our first course. It's Elliott Wave the way I teach it and use it, and it is included in both memberships. 
In our first room, the Invest with Jacob room, you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, all of your Elliott Wave questions answered, a midday video where I go over exactly where we are in the counts and what to expect, as well as the Elliott Wave training course you just saw. We trade the SPY and the QQQ and we swing trade, which means our trades can last anywhere from a few days to a few months, so we don't trade quite as often as a day trading room does. However, if you are looking for day trading, as well as individual stocks, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room, as well as day trading, individual stocks, and PT's reduced risk binary method that absolutely crushes the market. He gets you in at a cheap price and gets you big multiples on your money, and it's how he structures the trade that's so unique. It's something you kind of have to see to understand, and that's another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account trading mini ES futures, averaging 3 to 4% gains per week, showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account. Guys, we would love to have you in these rooms so we can all make money together. All right, key takeaways for today. We would expect a little bit of a pullback here in a wave two that would target the 4127 to 4112 areas on the ES. A break of 4094 would be a warning to the bulls. However, if they do push directly over 4207, we can squeeze, which would push us uh, in a more direct move toward 4253. And then we look for a pullback and on up towards 4290 from there. Over on the NASDAQ, they have the same type of setup. We would look for a corrective pullback into the 13072 to 13006 area. A break of 12925 is a warning to the bulls. And a direct move over 13,481 can squeeze directly up toward the 13,730 area. Guys, that is the market update for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.